the usual mug clan from ASIO, racist fucks, the ugly fucking motherfuckers, they're at it again. They think, and they've already entertained this thought, but now they're very serious about it. They believe they're going to somehow tee Rich Hungerford, an expert in survival, they're somehow going to tee him with me, and I'm going to work at his survival school. Now, Rich Hungerford is an accomplished SAS soldier, a very, very good survivalist, and in my view, a genuine Australian. The bloke who, if you'd hate, I'd hate you. That sort of bloke. He's no fucking British cocksucker or white clown, just to give you people an understanding of what I gauge to be that. People have this, they get very cute... Uh, theories as to what I'm alluding to when I'm completely not. He is your typical Australian bloke, your typical Australian male, but the very, very reliable and good kind. And my message to him, because we don't know each other from a bar of soap, and I guess now that I'm oh, I'm on the cusp of becoming an urban survival expert, like a lot, some people are paying attention to what I'm doing, and I am actually becoming very good at it. Uh, not the wilderness side, but urban survival. Uh, and I really rate myself as the best there is. I'm, I'm not kidding about it. I'm fucking good at this shit. And it would look really, really good if f for Richard, uh, for Rich Hungerford, it would look really good if I took the urban survival element of his school because he's got a very established school. He is the best of the best. I'm telling you now, Rich... Rich Hungerford is the best of the best. He's fucking good at what he does. He does not fuck with fairies. He just... Oh, he's... I love him. I fucking love him. I've, I've, I've done all his courses. Most of them. If not all of them. I've really thought about what he has to say and how it relates to everything. And it just... You know when it just keeps sinking in and sinking in and sinking in and it just all marries up? You know then and there that this bloke is a positive influence he's a very very good instructor and i have to give him credit for my survival capability i don't believe i would have picked up as fast as i would have without his guidance impeccable impeccable survivalist but as for this cute plan that because asia really want me to look like some fucking Savage, or they've got really wicked plans for me. None that have ever come to fruition over the decades because I keep countering them and they can never get the source of who gives me this information because it's from inside them. And uh, it's not, not only is it not illegal for me to know that, it's actually legal for them to, <laughs> to uh, try to force other people in their spectrum, in their mob not mob, in their organisation to divulge what they know, who they know, how they know it, they can get sacked on the spot. They're not, in other words, they're not greater than other people in their portfolios. So I get this information. I get it in very cunning ways. I get it in by speaking to people in public in very, very subtle ways. It's sheer... It's called reverse information with me, and I work it all out. And it's like, yeah, that's what it's pointing to. And it fucking makes me laugh every time. They, these cunts are hopeless. They can never pick it up. They'll never pick it up. But the point is, they think I'm going to Rich Hungerford. I think I'm get, they think I'm going to somehow be teed up and go to his school in South Queensland. They're obsessed with me in the Gold Coast. They somehow think that that's going to link to the Gold Coast where I can sleep with all these fucking uh, according to them quintessential Aussie blonde babes they've got a really sick idea as to what Australia means what an Australian woman is they're fucking deranged these agiospastics in any case this bloke's a fucking legend and um, I don't think it would be in his interest to go with the plan because what he doesn't know is they also want to throw him under the bus because of how he's enabled and empowered Australians contrary to their spirit 
as if they can fucking dictate what other Australians do, or as if their agenda is greater than his. Yeah, fuck off. They're a bunch of cockheads. He's for the greater good and for great for all Australians. They're for a few of them, and they may as well call themselves London. This mob from Asia, the one I'm talking about. Not the rest of it. Not the whole Asia. It doesn't work that way, but they have, they have got little factions with inside them. That faction I'm speaking about, the mugs I fucking can't stand, they may as well call themselves fucking London. They're fucking hopeless. They're fucking shit cunts. <laughs> <laughs> fucking clowns. They actually think they're somehow going to get me teed up with Rich Hungerford. Like, as if, as if he's got some special resources to put me on a massive wage or something because he's raking it in or... I don't know what the fuck they've got planned, but I don't work that way. And I hope if he somehow does manage to get in contact with me down the road, I don't want him to get the impression that me rejecting him means I dislike him or think I'm better than him. <laughs> you can hear what I've got to say here. I just know that they're going to throw him under the bus and not necessarily succeed with me because they never do. And that's going to make me look like the bloke who has thrown him under the bus. I'm not going to let that happen. Fuck no. I like the guy. I love the guy. I don't even know him, but I fucking love the guy. He's, 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 you just know a good bloke when you see him. And uh, I know I'm not going to fuck his survival school just to get a somehow a big wage or something like that because I can see them trying to pull that angle. I can fucking see it like no tomorrow. And that, that survival school is only like, if I'm correct, 100 k's off the Gold Coast. And for me, they know me, how I work. It's like fucking down the road. It's like... You ask me what down the road is, it's like, yeah, fucking 100 k's down the road. That's just fucking, yeah, it's nothing. 200 k's, 300 k's. I fucking, I'll get there like that. And that's how I operate. That's how I think. So, yeah, 100 k's away from Gold Coast is like, oh, I may as well go to the Gold Coast and go back here and go back there. And I, I couldn't imagine, I can only imagine what they try to cook up. Oh, these fucking cunts. Are they going to be frothing from the mouth again? When the fuck will we <laughs> come up with something that doesn't get his attention? <laughs> Who the fuck is divulging all our plans? They're going to go nuts. No, so I'm flying solo with my urban survival thing. And I'm not going to cut anyone's grass. I'm not going to claim to be better than other people. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm going to prop up all the good guys. Uh, for me, there's uh, there's three notable ones, and that's first and foremost, Rich Hungerford, second, David Canterbury, and third, Corporal's Corner. And that's it for me. There's many other people out there, many who are good, but they're the bread and butter. They're the best in the business. You, who do you go to? You go to the best in the business. And then when other people pick up their game and become the best in the business, perhaps you go to them. As for me, I'm, I'm going solo. I'm sticking to urban survival. I'm not going to wilderness survival. I never will. I am the best at urban survival. I'm fucking confident of that. I, I'm absolutely certain of it. And I'm absolutely certain that Rich, without even knowing, sparked that greatness in urban survival that already existed in me from years of experience. I've, I've got years of experience of this stuff. And it just, he just happened to, his causes just happened to find the best way possible for all of that to just whew, spark and fucking magic and all of a sudden I really do believe I'm the very best in urban survival now it's just a matter of putting the courses together I've already put one entire basics course together and it's very good I could have done better but it's still very good but the advanced courses coming I believe they're like none other I believe they're fucking schmick my way of delivering a course like they're professional that's what I'm putting them on a professional platform and when they're finished I'll tell you where they are you can pay for it because these ones will be uh, paid courses and you tell me if they're good or not they're fucking thorough and they're very good and uh, I don't want Rich thinking down the track if I'm getting a lot of attention in this survival school that I'm the type of person you'd need to get on board um, although that would have been true if none of this shit happened or there wasn't any of this fuck around stuff with Asia and I would probably go along with it that it is that way so it's probably not a good idea at all, even if we're both aware of it. Um, what he isn't aware of, as I said, is that they would throw him right under the bus with what they've got planned for me. I, 
God only knows what they've what else they've got planned. Fucking stashing like fucking fields worth of cannabis or fucking uh, they'd probably do some sort of terror incident oh, i don't know they're, they're really that sick they hate me that much so i'm just warning him because they can easily make somebody with an sas background rich and myself with a big fucking military question mark everybody is sure i've been in the military but can't prove it you put these cunts together and especially me people hate oh this that they just want to have a field day. I'd love to. I'm telling you now, the idea of one day, not any time soon, but like a year or two years from now, being under Rich's wing, oh, that's romantic. Like, it's fucking, he's a legend. And he's just my type of guy, but it wouldn't be good for him. He is just so good at what he does, and he's got a massive following, and he'll only get better. You only get People like him only get better with age, even when he's 70 or 80, which is fucking decades from now. He'll probably still be pumping. He's that fucking type of person. And I, I hope the best for him. And, uh, yeah. I hope he doesn't get the wrong message by this. But I intercept all this stuff because of my connections. Uh, well, be, well beyond anything he can imagine. So, not going to happen. These cute theories, these cute setups of, oh, look, Nathan's in Turbans. Oh, he's the best. Let's fuck him this way. No, not going to happen, mate. Not going to happen. Maltese Australians are tricky bastards, aren't we?